welcome back to Bright and Rose Strings. This is a tutorial for the violin two part for a string quartet or string orchestra version of A Thousand Years, originally by Christina Perry. In this tutorial, I'll give you a few tips and then I'll go back at the end and I'll play through the whole version of the second violin part for you with the metronome on so that you can play along with that home if you'd like. A few little pieces of advice for you. This version of A Thousand Years has two flats, which means I have a B flat and an E flat in my key signature. So my ones are low on all of the strings except G, which I don't have that note in this piece. My twos are all low, and my threes are normal, but my fours on the A and the E string are low. So for example, an E flat on the A string is a low four, or on the E string it's a B flat, and then my low one on A is a B flat, on the D string it's an E flat. So those are some tricky notes to be aware of. Also the time signature for this piece is 6-8 which means I have six eighth notes in the measure. So the way I'll do it with the metronome is I'll have two clicks per measure with a dotted quarter note because a dotted quarter note equals three eighth notes. So there's two of them in the measure. The tempo that I think works well for this is dotted quarter note equals 60. A few rhythms to point out to you. I just mentioned the dotted quarter note. So at the beginning that's the rhythm I have, and I'm going to think one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three. So that's a rhythm I have a lot. And then I have this other rhythm one time, which is a two sixteenth notes and then two eighth notes. So that down at measure 42 in this version sounds like this. The sixteenth and the first eighth are tied. So I have a little pickup on the first sixteenth then a tie that's equal to three sixteenths, and then the last eighth. So that's how that rhythm works. So I will play through this whole part for you now with the metronome at chord, dotted quarter note equals 60, and I hope this helps you. You can play along with at home at this speed or slow it down as you'd like, and please subscribe to my channel, share any comments, share this video with anyone who might enjoy it, and like my video. Thanks for watching. One, two, three, four, five, six. five, six. So a few things to point out. Right before letter B, there's two double stops in that measure. The first one is a one on G and a low two on D. The second one is a low two on the G and the D strings. So to play that, you cover both strings with your two. If that's too hard to play in tune, just pick one of the notes, play the top or the bottom. Also at the measure before letter E, same thing, you have a two covering the A and the D string which is hard to get in tune, so you could choose 
to just do one of those notes. And for the last note of the whole piece, there's a fermata, so you can decide within your group how long to hold that. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and have fun playing this.